Part of my job as a personal stylist and shopper is to translate what's going on out there in the world of fashion and make it relevant for everyday wear. And the one area that I often get asked about is street style. What is it and how can I achieve this look? Well, in all honesty, street style has evolved so much since the 80s and 90s, when it was really about one big influence that completely set the trend. Nowadays, though, all you have to do is open a fashion magazine, look at the street style section and know that anything goes, which is really exciting. However, the backbone to this look is ultimately something really creative. That type of outfit that you would literally stop somebody in the street and ask them where it's from. And each season, there are a few key pieces which filter through from this street style urban look. And they suddenly become very wearable when you team them up with your wardrobe essentials. So start having a think, ladies, about those edgy pieces that you may have in your wardrobe. And I will show you how to put the whole look together. So, ladies, I mentioned that street style is all about a few key pieces that have filtered through and suddenly gone from quite an edgy place to a very, very wearable place. So this look is dedicated to talking you through those pieces and how you can achieve the same look. So, we are going to start with the cold shoulder trend, which we've seen in a really massive way from spring-summer, and it's continuing through into autumn-winter in a slightly different way. When we've been seeing this trend on the streets, it's done in a very, very exaggerated style. So, we've got kind of sloppy T-shirts coming off. That's all fine, but actually, it doesn't always look very grown-up, very elegant. So, I have chosen this one for you, which I just think is divine, because it accents the trend without being too in your face. And depending on your age, you can get away with it. So, as you can see, you've got this side split, which starts on the shoulder and then comes all the way down to the elbow. So, it just gives you that sort of peekaboo effect. And it actually looks really elegant at the same time. So thinking about using this top for other areas of your wardrobe, I'm all about cost per wear, <laughs> you can do that. Now, the top is actually longer, but I have ruched this top up just to define Tiffany's waistline a bit more and also to showcase the great trousers. So, these are by Nina Leonard and these really do encapsulate the other area of the street style look, which is all about the formal jogger. So, this is basically blending, you know, your classic joggers that you throw on when you get home, but actually merging them with a slightly more smarter trouser. I love this colour. And again, this is something that we're going to be seeing a lot of in autumn, winter. They're slouchy, they're relaxed, but the gold hardware detail really sets them apart. They are fully functional pockets, which I love in a trouser like that because you can stand and be nice and relaxed. And as you can see, the way that they've been edged off with the gold on there and on the drawstring, it just brings it all together. They're cuffed on the bottom. I've actually brought them all the way up just to give it that slightly more relaxed look, but you can bring them all the way down as well if you want to bring the trouser, you know, to a different point of your shoes. But I think because there's lots of lovely fabric, you can still bring them up and then drape them beautifully. Now, please, let's talk about the shoes because these are one of my favourites. So, shoes for this look, you don't want to do something too classic. And I think that's where the loafer style has really come into its own for autumn, winter. They've been revived in such a different selection of prints. And leopard print is one of those styles that still looks you know, feminine, but it always has a bit of an edge to it. And I think with the two of those combined, these work really nicely. And they actually look really flattering on the foot as well, which is great. And um, again, thinking about cost per wear, you could put those on with your jeans, with your formal trousers, even some printed trousers would work really nicely. If you wanted to clash it, that would actually look really fun. And um, so this is the kind of three main bodies of it. But the next piece you are going to love, I know, it's all about the bomber jacket. So this is another style that we have seen coming through in the last few seasons, but it's definitely here to stay. And this one is great because the actual body of the jacket is matte. And then as you can see, the sleeves are so, so fun because they give you that lace effect, which works really well for our cold shoulder look underneath because you still get to see a bit of Tiffany's arm. I think the shoulder puffs make it look slightly more grown up than some of the bomber jackets that we've seen. And then I love the way that it's collarless with the um, sort of pewter detailing because that really kicks off the gold as well and that mixing metals look. So what I'm going to do is just bring these up a little bit. They do have a nice bit of elastic on the arms as well, so you can play around with them. So that is our bomber jacket. See, it looks fun, but it also just looks really kind of smart as well. 
Now I'm just going to add a little bit of jewellery. What we've done is done a pendant necklace, which is initialed. So we've done a T for Tiffany, but they come in all different initials, so you can get your hands on, on your own name. But I love the layered look. And again, the silver just sits really nicely against the black. Then we've done some stretch sparkle bracelets. And the, the key with the jewellery for this look is not to go too formal. You want pieces that are fun, you know, that are a little bit edgy and that just make the outfit kind of sparkle and shine, but in the right way. And then we have got something really fun, which is a backpack. So we're going to pop this on Tiffany now. This is all a Kylie. And as you can see, it's all about the colours. So backpacks have really been synonymous with this street style look. But the way that they've been, this one's been based in the cream and the black works really nicely. And then you've got these other pops of colours, which contrast with the trousers and the leopard print shoes so we've essentially got four different street style ideas coming together and it just looks so fun I know you're gonna love this lady so please give it a try